Yeah, two days of topical panel discussions, a workshop and one-on-one -on -one meetings are taking place from today at the GSC in South Africa as the BRVM, the French-speaking West African Region Exchange, holds an investment roadshow in partnership with its listed companies and others. Let's get some insight into today's cutting raising strategic discussions as we bring on the show, Corinne Orman, a director of the BRVM Antenna in Côte d'Ivoire. Good evening, madam. Great to have you uh, with us on Arise Exchange tonight. And congratulations on the uh, roadshow starting today in uh, the BRVM. Uh, let's get started very quickly. Give me a sense of today's discussions, the first day of this two-day uh, investment roadshow. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for having me on um, uh, your channel. Um, we, the BRVM, um, are doing, uh, we are doing uh, our roadshow here in uh, Johannesburg, and um, the first day was dedicated to the commodity stock exchange that uh, Cote d'Ivoire uh, will launch um, uh, in the uh, following uh, month. So all the, the di discussion taking place today was all about the commodity exchange. Okay, so, so why is uh, commodity exchange very important within the YMO region where uh, Côte d'Ivoire is the biggest economy, is the biggest cocoa producer in the world? You have seven other countries within the region. You're the second largest economy in West Africa uh, put together. Talk to me about this. Why is this important? Uh, a commodity exchange is very important, as you said, for Côte d'Ivoire. As you know, Côte d'Ivoire is the first producer of cocoa, but not only. You are also the fir first uh, world producer of uh, uh, cashew nut, um, cola nut, and uh, that's why the uh, Côte d'Ivoire authorities want to um, create this commodity stock exchange. Uh, that will permit to have more transparency on um, on that um, that market and uh, permit also to allow also producer uh, to benefit to um, a good price of their product. So uh, for the first step, the commodity uh, exchange of uh, Côte d'Ivoire uh, will. Um, uh, market only the cashew nut, the cola nut, and also corn. That's the free first product that will be um, exchanged on uh, that commodity uh, stock. And uh, uh, we, the Côte d'Ivoire Authority want to come in uh, Johannesburg to, to take um, the experience of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. As you know, Johannesburg Stock Exchange is a, a very important, uh, co have a very important commodity uh, exchange in Africa. So we want to take um, uh, advantage of the experience and, um, uh, and um, benefit it to our uh, countries and economies. Uh, great. Uh, we, we, are, we are really appreciate it. It sounds like music to my ears, uh, what you're saying about commodity exchange in Africa. Uh, but again, this is about intra-Africa uh, uh, and foreign investment and new listings to the BRVM. Talk to me about that. You have most of your companies within uh, the, your regional Waimo region, Bank of Africa, uh, uh, in, in Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire, Burkina Faso, and, and elsewhere. So uh, are you looking to have foreign companies listed on, on the BRVM the way things are going? Yes, yeah, sure. We um, we already have some uh, multinational company who was already listed in uh, number to 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 grow. Um, as you know, um, Cote d'Ivoire is uh, the, a very a very important um, uh, economy locomotive in, on our region. Uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, Cote d'Ivoire listed company represents. Uh, almost 56% uh, of the listed company. We have uh, only um, 46 companies listed in the BRVM. So 
um, we want that uh, number to, to grow. So uh, by promoting uh, the BRVM uh, in Africa and um, worldwide, uh, we think that it will be uh, create interest, more interest uh, on, the, on our market. Uh, this is a two-day uh, road trip. I'm sure after Johannesburg, you're going to be heading elsewhere, whether in Africa or outside Africa, for for the uh, road shows. But, but of course, you uh, you you talk about the the the, B, the the BRVM and what have you. You also talked about the there's also the Green Revolution, the Green Bond, and the roadmap, the deal you recently signed uh, to onboard. Uh, green listings on the BRVM. When are we expecting the first listing to come through? What kind of interest are you seeing within uh, countries within the Waimo region, eight countries over there uh, in West Africa, to, towards this new initiative? Correct. We hope that we can see uh, uh, the first um, uh, green burn soon. Uh, as you know, uh, the climate is... Um, um, it's, it's something that uh, is um, um, uh, are creating um, a more, um, I mean, uh, we can go uh, behind this, um, this uh, climate, climate financing in our region because, uh, as you said, uh, worldwide, uh, all the, the crises that uh, climate change as uh, occur on uh, our economies and our region. So uh, the Wau um, um countries uh, want to um, raise um, green bonds and climate and social bonds to, um, to, to, to create awareness on that, um, that um, I mean that uh, important. Uh, 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 sorry, I lost my word. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I get it. I was just about to. Uh, there's a whole lot you, you folks are doing. I'm just uh, enthused with all of this. I'm a market person myself, so a market journalist. But again, tomorrow is the second day for for you and the rest of your team, the director general, mm -hmm. and the rest of all of you from Cote d'Ivoire in, in South Africa. I'm sure you enjoy the the cold weather uh, there in in Joburg uh, as we speak. So, uh, what's the second day going to look like on your program tomorrow? Tell me briefly to summarize this conversation. Interesting one, Corey. Uh Yes, thank you. The second day will be focused more on the, uh, the BRVM um, uh, forecast and what uh, the BRVM are, are planning on uh, the, the next years and to show also uh, investors uh, how the BRVM performed during last year and the, the years um, uh, before. So uh, this second day will be focused on uh, that uh, discussion between uh, investors and um, BRVM and investor, our regulator and uh, investor, and also our brokerage firm, uh, and also our listed company, because we came with uh, not only with um, the stock exchange, but also with the uh, major player of our uh, market such as uh, um, listed some listed companies, uh, some brokerage firm, but also uh, some um, uh, government authorities and uh, um, uh, and with the regulator. So uh, the second day is also an, a very important day for for us as we will um, uh, market our our. Uh, uh, our, our market. Yes, you, <laughs> got, you, you got a whole lot of companies to market. Uh, when I look at the BRVM, myself and my team every day are uh, producing the BRVM data. So quite, you got a whole lot there. Uh, great companies in, in West Africa, French speaking, Waimo region. Thank you so much, uh, Corey Norman. It's good speaking with you tonight. I'm sure it's been a very long day for you. Uh, Corey Norman, Director uh, Antenna, the BRVM in Cote d'Ivoire, speaking to us from Georgia.